Welcome back to Free Arts Academy. Today we're going to talk about how to mix skin tone colors for painting portraits. Painting portraits can sometimes feel like an intimidating task because there are so many details to consider. As artists, we strive to make a portrait resemble the person it's modeled after. All these details that you'll consider will add up to features that personalize each portrait in someone's image. Creating skin tone colors is one of the biggest details to consider when making portraits, and today we're hoping to teach you some foundational skills to help you with this task. Naturally, skin tone color varies widely amongst the world's population, which is a beautiful thing. That being said, here are some fundamental rules to follow when painting skin tone that you can apply to any person's portrait. When mixing skin tone colors, Create at least three shades for each skin tone. Make at least a highlight, a middle tone, and a low light. Depending on the person you're painting, you may want to create even more shades of color, but three shades is a good place to start. We're going to consider three skin tones today and talk about how to mix the three shades for each person. Let's first consider the lady on the left who's got lighter, fair-complected skin. We'll be going for these three shades. Start with white. You'll need a fair amount of this. And add a very small amount of burnt sienna and a touch of red. Mix these colors well. This is pretty red, so let's add a bit of dark brown and white again. Make sure to mix it up well. This will serve as our base tone that we can work with to create all three shades. Scoop up a bit of this base mix and then add some dark brown to create the low light. Make sure you're mixing your colors well. Work again and scoop some of this base mix up and mix it with some yellow and some white to create the mid-tone. Don't panic if your color doesn't come out right the first time. It may take a few additions of white to get the correct shade. Make sure you're mixing the colors really well so you know that they're fully blended. When you find the mid-tone, take a bit of it and add some more white to it to create the highlight color. Let's consider this gentleman next. We will be attempting to create these three shades for his skin tone. Start with some white. Add a touch of yellow and burnt sienna brown and make sure that you blend all these colors very nicely. Add some more white. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get the right shade. Don't give up and try not to panic. Our mix turned out pretty yellow, so we're going to try to mellow it out with a dash of brown and a dash of red. So here's our mid-tone. Add a bit of dark brown to the base tone to create our low light. Okay, here's our low light, the color for our shadows in the portrait we're painting. Use a clean brush, as we did before, scoop up some of the base tone and mix in some white to create the highlight. It may take a few additions of white, fully blended, to get the correct tone. And finally, let's consider this fellow. We will be trying to mix these three shades for his skin tone. We can create this skin tone by following the previous method in the previous section, but the low light color will be different. In order to create the low light for his skin tone, add a dash of brown and black to the base tone. As always, when you're blending these colors, make sure you're mixing them completely so they're fully incorporated. There you have it. We've considered three different individuals and their individual skin tones and created three shades for each person. Did this video help you mix skin tone colors in acrylic paint? Let us know in the comments below. 
and please subscribe to our channel for more art and acrylic painting videos just like this.